at the Little Elk Wind Project in Washita County, Oklahoma. Which is basically in the middle of nowhere. Safety, environment, cost, quality, and time are how I go. The plant will cover the electricity needs of about 30,000 U.S. families. We need to work faster. Projects are much bigger than other countries. Being able to coordinate all the aspects from design all the way through engineering and construction. Keeping everybody focused on the goals we have, keeping everybody on task, working together as one team. I've met personally with every single landowner on this project. Every single landowner is super excited about this project. They like to see the economy grow in these small towns around here. Hobart, Oklahoma really benefits from a wind farm that comes in and gets constructed, similar to the Rocky Ridge. Little Elk Wind Project consists of 37 Vestas 2.0 wind turbines. We've already built Rocky Ridge, which is adjacent to this project, so we had a lot of information gathered up from every unit, every department that contributed to evaluating the likelihood of this project to be constructed. Every project we select a team dedicated to the project with the support of the people from all the other departments outside the engineering and construction. So the design team uh, can consist of up to approximately 20 to 25 people. The actual construction effort uh, will ramp up to approximately 300 people at the peak of construction. Everyone has a specialization, but then we need to work uh, as a team all together to be effective. The team working is a key factor. Now how do I coordinate everybody? Well, it's kind of a tough one for me. You probably can tell by the gray hair. It's not an easy job. I've got a rule myself. It's a 3F club. Uh, it's being fair, firm, and friendly. When we go into a site, if they're doing something wrong, I'm going to be firm. But at the same time, I'm going to be friendly. And I will be fair of their assessment of the project also. The main challenge is to make the projects not only profitable, but also sustainable. It means to create value for all the stakeholders. There's a lot of intricate pieces to the puzzle, which you all know, that are quite important to the site. Number one are roads. Without the roads, you're not going to feed this site. Without collection systems, you have no place for the power to go. The most unique thing for the Little Elk site so far has been uh, Oklahoma has received a substantial amount of rain uh, over the last few months, historic rain, which has really posed a huge challenge to the wind farm. We used a lot of the experience in the States to improve other projects from the point of view of safety, from the point of view of construction and also of design. So we are working in several countries and this allows us to share experience, to bring from other countries the best that we can bring. Zero accident uh, is uh, our target. Of course, when we're planning, we look at the overall safety and the importance of safety going into the project itself is critical. It's where we start with every meeting. It's where we start building everything off of. The biggest challenge that we have is assuring people understand what our safety culture and what our safety goals are so that they all go home at the end of the day safe and sound in the same shape or better than they came in to the project on. Currently, here at the Little Elk Wind Project, we're just over 150,000 uh, man hours with no lost time accident, which is a, a huge accomplishment, something that we're very proud of. The great success at the Little Elk will be to get the full production by the end of the year and to close the project with a zero accident. Through this project, my feelings are very positive. It's been going very well expected. I think the planning and Everything we've done has been based on that. Let's plug it in, let's produce power, let's get it on the grid, let's start producing uh, revenue for this site, and let's have a safe site throughout, no injuries, and uh, we'll all go home smiling with a successful look on our faces.